Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at well everything you need to know about upgrading your Onyx Annulet and also about the Yaskara Vaults that have recently come out with the Forbidden Reach which is part of patch 10.0.7. So before we begin anything of course you need to begin uh, getting access to the Forbidden Reach. You should get a quest called Hidden Legacies the moment you enter into the game uh, with a character that has completed the base campaign of Dragonflight. Once you have done so, or on an alt that's max level, you will be able to gain access to the Me Mequil Camp, I think it's called. Uh, and once you get here, you'll have to run through a couple starter quests. Uh, you'll get these three starter quests. Uh, you need to complete all three of them. They don't take very long. They also drop quite a substantial amount of elemental overflow, as well as also giving you quite a substantial amount of rep for the Voldraken Accord. So this isn't so bad at all. Uh, and honestly, it doesn't take you very long to complete these quests. So you shouldn't really have a major problem. Once you finish completing these three quests, which will take you kind of around the Forbidden Reach a little bit, I guess showing you some of the areas, uh, you will be able to come back and hand in all of the quests with uh, the Commander here. So there we go, Scale Commander Viridia. Uh, and you can hand in all of these quests and you will receive two more. Now. You don't need to do Embathol Awaits, although I do suggest you do so, as it's got great rewards in its own right. But the next quest you want to take is Helping Hand and Claw. So you want to take Helping Hand and Claw. You don't need to do Embathol Awaits. You just need to start the Helping Hand and Claw section. Embathol Awaits gives you other valuable resources. But for now, we'll just focus on doing the main quests required to get to the Ascara Vaults. Once you have done the Helping Hand and Claw quest, you can come back here to Scale Command of Iridia and you will receive a quest called Exploring Our Past. Fantastic. Take Exploring Our Past and you will be tasked with going to the Yaskara Vaults. So the Yaskara Vaults are not a far ways away. Uh, they are just around the corner from the camp and they'll be highlighted with a question mark and you'll be greeted with a couple quests outside of here. Honestly speaking, nothing too major here. Hand in your quest with Pathfinder Jeb, and then you will be able to accept a quest to explore the Ascara Vaults. You will also receive a couple other side quests, which you can and can't do, depending on yourself, uh, if you want to do them. Uh, you can, if not, you don't have to. They do lead to some side quest chains, but that's it. But the main one you're going to want to take is from Pathfinder Toucher, and she gives you six Ascara Vault keys. You're going to use one of these keys to explore the Yaskara Vaults right now. And honestly, you just need to clear out a couple easy spiders. And then you will see in the middle of the room, with a little question or exclamation mark, the Onyx Annulet. So now you've obtained the Onyx Annulet, and you can see that it's a 405 M or ring, but, but it does not have any stats. It only has stamina. And we're going to go about the process now of unlocking the tools to upgrade and kind of explore the Onyx Annulet a bit further. So don't use any other keys. Save them. You can use them if you want to, but I prefer to save them. Because the next quest that you're going to pick up once you hand these in is going to be to obtain the Anvil and to obtain the Forge. Well, sorry, the Anvil and the Forge are the same one. The Anvil and the Jeweler's Kit that you're going to need to basically upgrade the Onyx Annulet. So once you complete this quest, you'll receive Primordial Embellishment. This will task you to get the Jeweler's Kit and to obtain the Anvil. Now, before we go on, maybe you've spent all of your Yaskara Vault Keys and you're kind of in a situation where you go... Man, I really don't know where the hell I'm supposed to get any more Yaskara Vault Keys. It's very simple. 
Uh, all you have to do is fight world rares, open world chests around the Forbidden Reach. You can gift keys from your alts, which we'll talk about just now. Or certain side quests that you complete will also give you some Yaskara Vault keys. But the easiest way, by far the easiest way, is to just join a rare hunting train. Uh, they happen all the time. You'll see tons of players moving from rare to rare as they pop up. And you simply kill the rare. And once you kill that rare, you will have a, a pretty high chance of getting a Yaskara Vault key. Now, it's not always guaranteed. Guaranteed. There's also other benefits to killing the rares, but getting things from the Yaskara Vault Keys are pretty easy to get from the rares. World chests are a little bit harder to find. Some of them have puzzles involved with them. They generally do have one to three keys in them though. Uh, and if you're really lazy, what you can do is you can begin the uh, Forbidden Reach quests uh, or storyline with alts and just gift the six Yaskara Vault Keys that you get from originally opening the vault to your main. So, you know, that's uh, basically as easy as it comes. It's really not anything too wild. Uh, so hopefully you have a pretty decent time uh, when it comes to getting these keys. But I just thought I'd segue and tell you how. But now that you've obtained some Yaskara Vault Keys, if you didn't save any, you can go back to the Yaskara Vaults and obtain the Anvil and the Jewelers Kit. These are super duper simple. Uh, the first one is on the ground floor. Very, very easy to find. It's to the left. You'll see a little yellow marker, unless you're using some add-ons that will assist you as well. And it's at the back of the room. There's also some interesting puzzles, a chest to open up, and plenty of other things as well that you can find here. Just a word to the wise, I'll bring it back up later, but exploring the Yaskara Vaults is how you're going to obtain a large amount of your primordial stones. And these are very crucial towards upgrading your Onyx Annulet. So it's a very, very, very important part of the entire experience. Well, anyway, that's the first one. The second one, what you're going to do is you're going to take this little spider web to your left chair that I ran past. Uh, and what you're going to do is this is going to bring you to a little vault door here. You're going to use a key to open this door for two reasons. One, there's a side quest in here that gives you the ability to gain three more Yaskara vault keys, uh, which will help you out later on. And also there's this little flask of windward steps. If you're a class that cannot jump large gaps, you don't have a mobility move or a vault or a jump, you're going to struggle to move around the second and third floors due to the fact that there's quite a large gap between the doors and not a spider's rope to all of them. So if you grab this windward steps, you can just jump from platform to platform. It's something just to help you out. But if you are a class that already has that, or you're someone like me that has mobility baked into your class, then all you have to do is take the other spider web, uh, which you can see here, and just simply hop across to the third or second door to the left. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward procedure. Uh, and in here, on the right hand side, you'll find the anvil. I already uh, kind of opened this door beforehand. So there you go. Now you can return back and you can place the anvil and the jeweler's kit. Now both have very specific functions, uh, which we'll break down now. So firstly, uh, let's talk about the anvil. It's the simplest one. If you stand near the anvil, you receive the option to break primordial stones. Breaking primordial stones will give you primordial stone fragments, and you use these to buy new primordial stones and to create the upgrade item for primordial stones. The jeweler's kit is a lot more straightforward and will simply allow you to remove a primordial stone from the onyx annulet without harming the stone, so there's no negative repercussions. And that's basically it when it comes to these two mechanisms. Now, in terms of obtaining the stones, in terms of obtaining primordial stones, as I mentioned before, you find them predominantly in chests around, or pretty much only in chests around the Yaskara vaults. You will find large primordial stones and primordial stone fragments by exploring the Yaskara vaults and opening the doors. This obviously means you require keys, uh, but it also means that you need to basically spend quite a little bit of time in there. Now obtaining keys, as you saw earlier in my video, is not too hard to do. I got around 9 keys in about 15 minutes, uh, so that's not really a super difficult part of the process. Uh, and there's plenty of side quests to obtain more keys, and you'll be able to explore the Yaskara vaults quite easily if you spend a little bit of time in the Forbidden Reach. 
Socketing your Onyx Annulet is quite simple. You simply shift right click the Onyx Annulet and you can apply whichever collection of stones you have to it. Now which stones are best for your class is going to be a little bit difficult to cover in the course of this video so I'm not going to be covering it uh, inside this video. I'm mainly going to be talking about socketing and upgrading it. But yes, once you equip a stone you can simply move to the Jewelers Kit and you can remove it if required. If you are looking at obtaining more stones, uh, you can speak to the vendor here and they will actually give you a primordial stone from each family. Now this doesn't guarantee the strength or the effects of the stone, but it does have obviously some guarantee that it will come from a set family of stones. So if you're interested in experimenting, you can take a look at those and you can buy them. Most importantly as well, you can break these stones. Breaking stones will net you fragments back. Now, obviously, you don't want to break stones that you may consider wanting to use to upgrade your class. However, this is not really a super dramatic thing. Um, feel free to break your stones. Don't panic too much until you find the correct one. Uh, obviously, maybe do a bit of look up about your class if you're that concerned. Uh, but yes, generally speaking, breaking the stones is the only way to, well, is another way to get fragments alongside exploring the Yaskira vaults. And now the last section, or the last obviously kind of super important part of this, is upgrading your stones. So you'll see that all your stones start at item level 411. This is the starting level of all stones that you buy and find within the Yaskara vaults. So this is obviously super duper valuable and really really cool, but we know that the stones can get to level 424. And the way to get your stones to level 424 is going to require you to have a couple fragments. You're going to need 60 primordial stone fragments in total, uh, just for upgrading the three stones that you select to max. So if you want to prep for the next phase, make sure that you grab those 60 primordial stones, because we're about to find out how you can upgrade them. So upgrading them requires you to either be a jewel crafter, or to know a jewel crafter, or to place a jewel crafting work order. If you are a jewel crafter, you simply have to have 50 points in your Dragon Isle jewel crafting profession, and you will need to have the recipe for unstable elementium, which you can obtain uh, by yourself. So to obtain the unstable elementium recipe uh, is fairly simple. You simply need to have an attuning fork, a uh, crystal tuning fork, which you can create yourself uh, as well, or you can buy off of the auction house. Uh, once you have it in your inventory, you must go summon Amethyst within the Forbidden Reach and defeating Amethyst will drop the recipe. So it's a pretty straightforward process if you are a dual crafter. If you are not a jewel crafter, then it's a little bit more complicated. You cannot buy these stones off of the auction house. Uh, if you see here and I go to the auction house, there's no way for me to buy unstable elementium. It's a little bit of an unfortunate process in that regard. However, what I can do and what you can do is you can place a crafting order for it. So obviously as a work order, if you know people in your guild or if you know a friend uh, or if you're just looking to do it out into the public, you can go to the crafting order stations within Voldraken and you can place a crafting order for Unstable Elementium, which is fairly straightforward. It will require you to have 10 of the Unstable, or sorry, the Fragmented Primordial Ore, but that's basically it. So that is it from me. You will need two upgrades per primordial stone to get them to 424. But I hope this has helped you guys with everything you need to know about the Scare Vaults and about upgrading the Onyx Annulet. I wish you all the best of luck and I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any other queries, please leave a comment down below. And if you have any other tips to help players, please leave those comments as well. But I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care, stay safe. And as always, bye.